In this video, we'll be looking at confidence intervals. A random sample of 100 apples from a farm has a mean mass of 115 grams and a standard deviation of 12 grams. Assuming that the standard deviation of the sample is an accurate estimate of the population's standard deviation, calculate an approximate 95% confidence interval correct to one decimal place for the mean mass of the apples from the farms. We could use method one and work out the interval in that way, or, or we could use method two, which is the Z interval inbuilt function on the CAS calculator. Menu, six statistics, and six confidence intervals. And we're going to go number one, Z interval. We're going to put in that's one. And then our standard deviation is 12. Tab down to the next box. Our mean, our sample mean was 115. Tab down to the next box. It was 100 for N. And it's already set for 95% confidence interval. We're going to press Enter. And there's our interval. So to one decimal place, the confidence interval is 112.6 to 117.4 grams. Question two, a 95% confidence interval for the mean height mu in centimetres of a random sample of 50 King Charles Cavalier dogs is in between 30.24 and 32.76 centimetres. What is the standard deviation of the height of the population of King Charles Cavaliers in centimetres correct to two decimal places? So if we have a look at the normal distribution we have there, going from 30.24 to 32.76, we know this is our interval that contains that. And we need to look at the length of one of these intervals from the mean to the end point, and we're going to use this formula here to calculate that 1.96 s on root n. Okay, the first thing we should do is work out the z value. The menu, probability, distributions, inverse normal, and the area we need to work this out will be point. 975, press enter and press enter again, and we get the well known to two decimal places 1.96. I've used more than 1.96 just to make sure that when we multiply these by the other values, we won't get some error occurring. So now we have to go menu, solve, algebra, and solve. And we're going to put in our fraction. We're going to go up arrow to get more significant figures on our value. We're going to multiply it by S. And we're going to divide that by our this is S on root N. So square root of 50. And this will equal, which is equal to our interval, 32.76 minus 30.24 divided by 2. And that will be our population mean estimate, comma, and we're solving for F. So we find that our standard deviation, which we had to calculate to two decimal places, would be 4.55 centimetres for these King Charles Cavaliers. Question three, a 90% confidence interval for the mean height mu in centimetres of a random sample of N King Charles Cavalier dogs is 32.2 to 33.4 centimetres. 
If the standard deviation of the sample is four centimetres, what is the value of n to the nearest integer that makes this interval occur? So again, we have our model of the normal distribution. We have that we have our 90% in between the two endpoints, 32.2 and 33.4. We again will have our equation, but this time we have for a 90% confidence interval, it's 1.64. And again, we're going to look at the mean error, which is one side from the mean to the endpoint, and that will be equal to 1.64 um, S on root n. We'll just put in a new page. Control lock. We're going to have a look at our Z value. So menu, probability, distributions, and inverse normal. And we want to put in this time 0.95. And we want to put in this time 0.95 for a 90% interval. And we get 1.64485. So rather than just use the 1.64, I've got a bit more accuracy here, just in case it's going to play a part in our calculation. So now we have to solve our equation. Menu 3, 1, and so I'm going to just go up arrow and select that value. Center. We need to multiply that by 4, the standard deviation. And then we need to put in the square root of n, divide that by the square root of n by our formula. And this is going to equal the midpoint of our interval. So 33.4 minus 32.2 over 2. And then we're going to solve for n, so comma n, press enter. So we see that we have 120.24 cavaliers. Now going back to the question, we had to find the nearest integer. So the nearest integer for the sample size of King Charles cavaliers will be 120.